Welcome to Vinyl Happy Hour, guys. I am your host, Skylar Davis. I'm the owner of Culture Shock Clothing and Records here in Rockford, Illinois. We are looking at Season 3, Episode 4 right now. And if you're not familiar with Culture Shock, we opened in 2006, so going on 14 years. Uh, we have a lot of clothing, gifts, and locally made items, but we are a record store. We have tons of vinyl, also lots of high fine vintage stereo gear. As you can see, we've got a little bit uh, stacked up here during quarantine mode, you know, getting some stuff ready in the store. And we feature a different drink every week also, every Thursday night. So tonight I am choosing a very premium bottle, something from my personal collection, uh, because as you know, I love bourbon. Uh, that's my main thing. And this is actually a Wisconsin straight bourbon from J. Henry. Real premium bottle we picked up actually at a whiskey tasting last year. I've been waiting to crack it open and tonight is time to celebrate. Uh, it was a little bit on the pricey side. This was like the uh, premium barrel select. It's cask strength, about 120 proof. Uh, and with this barrel select, one of the brewmasters or whatever, the distillery masters, one of the owners of the farm, his son, who tastes this, he found a barrel that was just a sweet, sweet barrel, a little different than their regular blend. This one was kept together from that barrel. Cheers, y'all. Wow, that is smooth. That is good. Worth every penny. Uh, definitely a lot of corn. They do have some rye and wheat in their mix there, too. It's so cool to be able to meet uh, the distiller and the farm owner and talk with them and get a taste of this bottle. So one thing we do every Thursday is we love to feature some new records, some reissues and some other rare things, uh, all kinds of vinyl that we find intoxicating as well. I'm going to start with an old classic, one of my high school faves, I guess, early high school years. This is, it's not officially an anniversary edition or anything of Blink-182's Buddha album, but it's about 25 years old. They should have done an anniversary of it. This is Buddha reissue on gold vinyl. Uh, this was their first album, or it was more like a demo, I guess, but it's where I first picked up on them. Around the time I was listening to some ska was popular then, I was listening to Real Big Fish, but I was also listening to Flaming Lips and Radiohead and things. But this Blink-182 came on my radar. It's before the years, actually it's before Travis Barker joined the band even. The drumming's a little different. Uh, it's got a cool punk sound, a little more like Descendants, but so nice that they reissued this. It was originally self-titled. It wasn't even called Buddha, but because of the picture of Buddha on there, and that's what everyone called it anyway. So by the time they remastered it from a demo to an official album, they just named it Buddha. Uh, but so cool to see. We have this up on our website too, of course. Just this quarantine or this month or whatever you want to call it, we launched our own website, cultureshockshop.com. So you can find the links below. We have just a few copies. I guess it's already sold out. Um, but we have a few copies in stock. So if you want to order them on our website, we can ship them to you or you can pick them up. We're doing curbside pickup, uh, officially, I guess, reopening next week for regular retail. Uh, that's one of the other things we like to talk about with some of this vinyl is to give you the down low on this. This is probably an album that you're familiar with, but you probably have the other Blink-182 albums, but not this one yet. How cool would it be if you finally got it to get the gold vinyl version? Like who's got the golden ticket there? Uh, nothing too fancy with the packaging on it, but it's cool that it is on color vinyl and it's been reissued. Even the black vinyl one's out of print right now. I'm not sure what's going on, but it's the only version you can get. So I would recommend picking that up. Sounds great. Really brings me back. It's kind of hard to believe that it's a demo because it sounds so put together. Uh, the other interesting thing, though, about indie releases and color vinyl and stuff like that is it's happening to all types of music right now and on tons of different record labels. Um, so we're featuring a lot of things like that reissues and new releases so here's a, a new release from trippy red uh and it's on clear vinyl double lp uh features some other rappers and folks like uh, juice world was on it and lily octi and a few other people you know they all co collaborate together but it's cool that it's on clear vinyl uh the other thing cool is some of these new rappers people call them emo rap whatever just like blink was emo punk or whatever they have this punk and rock energy and feeling to them and i love that mixture of things that's going into that you know um, so it definitely sounds sweet. I love it. It's got a great production value to it. Uh, he's cool. He's different. You know, like I said, we just saw him, uh, what's the little Dickie show? Dave. Dave. Thanks. Yeah. He, uh, he's been guesting on a couple episodes of Dave with little Dickie. So that was kind of fun to see him doing something different like that. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention at the top here, we do want to take in some questions. Uh, please let us know, uh, some questions you'd like to see us covered or some interesting things about vinyl you'd like to hear covered on Vinyl Happy Hour. 
Also, we would like to get your input on some other ideas because we're talking about doing some other videos coming up soon, uh, specializing in stereo equipment. I know there's a lot of people who have, especially during quarantine, had time to either bust out their record player or find out that their stereo equipment either isn't working or they want to get into vinyl and aren't sure what to get. So if that's you or you just have some general questions or info, let us know because we are going to cover things like different types of turntables, different ways of hooking them up and playing this vinyl. Because that's one thing is when you buy a nice record, you know, like talking about Blink, this was remastered from the original demo tape. So if you want the best quality sound of some of this stuff, having a proper turntable, amplifier, and speakers is all part of that process. And we deal a lot with stereo equipment and vinyl, so we definitely want to get your questions in, get them answered, and put together some ideas for some upcoming, maybe some in-between vinyl happy hour shows and things like that. So please shoot your comments over, questions over, and we will definitely check them out. Lauren is putting the links up. I, I don't know if this one's sold out or just they're going to make more, but we have a couple left in stock of the Trippy Red. That is also at cultureshockshop.com, at least at the moment. Here is a release. I don't know if anybody asked for this, but it's here and it's on vinyl. William Shatner, Ponder the Mystery. Uh, this is just going completely left field from some of the other stuff we're talking about. But just to show you some of the interesting stuff that is getting released and is on vinyl, this is William Shatner's Ponder the Mystery. And he has this crazy way, I'm sure a lot of you have seen him in TV and of course Star Trek and things like that. The way he, poetic ways he has of speaking, talking, singing, it is pretty interesting. But the most interesting thing about this album is it's like a prog rock odyssey with tons of bands and musicians and guitarists from other bands working with him on the music. Uh, Steve Vai, crazy guitar god, uh, Al Di Miola, uh, jazz rock fusion pioneer, Vince Gill, that threw me off, members of The Doors, Yes, Foreigner, and then of course Tangerine Dream and Hawkwind really put it into that kind of trippy space rock feeling. Uh, I did give this a, a listen. This actually came out in 2013. It is still in print. I'm not sure what's up with the different reissue version of it, but it's here and I had to get one for the store. I'm a big fan of Hawkwind and Nick Turner and those guys. Uh, so it's cool to hear them doing this kind of epic journey with William Shatner. It makes sense. They're, they pioneered space rock, Hawkwind did. So space rock and all that far out stuff uh, makes sense for them to work with William Shatner, the Star Trek pioneer. Uh, just interesting, he, the way he rhymes and alliterates things, it is kind of fun, actually. I could totally see, you know, Father's Day is coming up. This would be a good Father's Day gift for some people, too, probably. But I just had to show off some of the interesting stuff that is getting released here for on the Happy Hour. That is, link is up also on our website. Speaking of Father's Day coming up, I'm sure a lot of fathers are going to want this one. This kind of goes with my final piece of the evening, which is one of my holy grails, very related to this. But I just wanted to mention that Pink Floyd The Wall, here's another great classic. It's been remastered. It's on thick, nice 180 gram vinyl. Shoot, I forgot. I was going to grab a used copy too. We have one so you can open it up and see the artwork. But if you've never seen the artwork inside, it's amazing. This is just a sticker on the front, the Pink Floyd thing. This is actually just a plain old brick wall. Uh, but the artwork's legendary. I think it's also worth noting this came out in 79, many years after Pink Floyd had several albums out already. And the quality and musicianship, the production is amazing. They've done a lot of live shows by that point, had crazy light shows and stuff like that. There's like a movie or a weird light show that goes along with the wall. Uh, it's a good epic trip too. And if you haven't sat down and listened to the entire wall album in a while, it's pretty recommendable. I should have worn my wall t-shirt too. I have one of those, but uh, I actually like Pink Floyd. I'm not ashamed to say I do like most of their albums. I know that's kind of a thing where some people are like, ah, Pink Floyd heard it all before but if you have a nice quality audio system and some time to enjoy it or take it in or maybe have some bourbon or whatever else you enjoy uh, but we have these also at cultureshockshop.com and a bunch of other Pink Floyd they've all been remastered and reissued so you can buy brand new copies uh, I'm sure that would be a good Father's Day gift for a lot of people as well if it's not already in your collection but my final piece is one of my holy grails from my personal collection it's totally different. It's not even a record. Very seldom do I ever feature something that is not a record. I did show that Beatles cassette box that once. 
But in this little special crate is something very expensive and rare, actually, and it's a CD, of all things. It is Pink Floyd's The Wall, original master recording. But the packaging on this is cool. This was uh, made in Japan uh, by Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab, who does really high-end recordings. And with the right amplifier, like this Adcom CD player or some clip speakers, this can just sound stunning. I mean, it's amazing. The packaging on this is cool. It is a 24 karat gold CD. I wish all CDs were like this. You know how easy they scratch and break and fall off? But when you open it, it like lifts up for you. It's got this little thing. So it's just easy to grab it by the edges. Ah. Oh yeah, that's another thing I'd love to talk about. If you have questions or comments too, please share them. But I think we would like to talk about handling media, especially records, how to handle them, how to clean them and take care of them. Because that is one thing that definitely causes degradation to vinyl over years. But we have so many records that are 60 years old or whatever that have been taken care of. Even CDs, if you take care of them, can sound so good and last so long. But vinyl especially has a very long lasting life. So, But this is a 24 karat gold CD. I think the value on it is roughly $150, which is pretty crazy for a CD. But the packaging is great. The sound quality and the way they remastered this and got it to sound was amazing. It comes with a cool little booklet. talks about, you know, well, there's the artwork. It's not as epic and cool when it's on the CD. I'll have to be honest. But at least it has it there, you know. But Mobile Fidelity Sound Lab, who did these original master recordings, which you can see across the top, they did a lot of these on vinyl, too. Most of them were bigger albums or pop albums or, you know, popular things. But there's some pretty cool stuff that they did. So I just wanted to show that off. I thought it'd be a fun little oddball. I like to have a holy grail or a rare item to kind of go out with a bang here on every vinyl happy hour. So that was mine for tonight. It's also amazing that this has survived all these years and it has the original box and packaging and everything else to it. Uh, same thing with records. I would definitely love to talk more about the inserts and booklets and the taking care of not just the vinyl itself, but taking care of your records between cleaning and using sleeves and things like that to keep them cared for. Because that's not just part of the value of it, that's part of the experience of vinyl. And that's what we love about vinyl. It's part of what we find so intoxicating about vinyl. Just looking at them, digging through records at your you know, local record store, things like that, showing it off to your friends or even yourself while you're sitting at home listening to it. Uh, so yeah, please send your questions. We can't wait to hear uh, from you. And we can't wait to come up with some ideas for some new stories and videos and things for the store here at Culture Shock and for our future vinyl happy hour on Thursday night. It's that one. Drop it. Hey? Drop your ideas. Oh yeah, please don't forget. Just drop your ideas with us. Send us a direct message or leave a comment on these videos wherever you're at. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. And we will definitely uh, put that into our list of things to get covered soon. So. I hope you're doing well. Culture Shock will be open very soon, and we're doing curbside pickup, and cultureshockshop.com has a lot of vinyl up for you. Thank you so much for enjoying this bourbon with me and some records. Cheers, Lauren. Cheers, Cheers guys. Thank you.